Call it recording. Superstars, superheroes, where we all get together and talk about how we support mobile products at Mozilla. Thank you for joining. This is a 30 minute meeting to sync up on what's been going on this week. Uh, let's get into the previous action items. Oh, hey, Ralph, welcome. Hello. From Portland. Hi, Hi Ralph. Oh, and we have. That's got a big room there. Yes, we do. We have a quorum today in San Francisco. <laughs> Hermina is here from Paris. Rachel's new. Introduce yourself, Rachel. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm from uh, South Bay, California. I'll be ramping up and hopefully uh, contributing more. Well, we're very glad to have you here for your first mobile meetup. Ralph is in Portland. He's uh, working on Firefox OS. He just got back from Brazil wow. where we launched Firefox OS. Uh, a couple weeks ago, he was at an in-store. I'm sure he's going to tell us all about that. Um, Chang, huh? not usually here, but no. also has laryngitis, so he'll be quiet. Um, Go home, rest, Chang. <laughs> no, he refuses to stay home, which is fine. Um, so we'll all have laryngitis next week. No. <laughs> and then Patrick's here from Seattle, yep. onboarding Rachel. All right, um, and then Andrew from Canada, right? Also from Canada, different part of Canada than Roland. Uh, Edmonton, Al Calgary. Okay. Give us a thumbs up if we hit the right one. Yes? All right. <laughs> okay, uh, previous action items. Ralph, to try out the version 4 Connect A2. This is a chat app that's in our marketplace. Um, and report on it. So do you have a report for us, Ralph? Yeah, so I, I've been using it a little bit. Uh, it's uh, Right now it's the only WhatsApp client I've been using. Uh, it still needs a lot of polish. Uh, it's, um, it's the only solution there is for WhatsApp or Firefox OS, so it's um, it's uh, it's usable. You can send messages. Sometimes the messages get lost in transit, um, and it's it is an alpha uh, stage. But uh, the interesting thing is that when I was in Brazil, uh, some people, some contributors mentioned that uh, Mozilla is no longer recommending this app uh, because they found some uh, some security flaws in it. Uh, so apparently the uh, Whenever the messages get get transferred, uh, I'm not sure the details, but it's not well encrypted or it's not encrypted at all. Um, so they're not recommending it very much. Um, but right now it is uh, it is a solution, and, and I've still been using it to uh, to talk on WhatsApp. So okay, it works. If you don't care about your security, no. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you for work, uh, trying that. Does anyone else have thought, thoughts on Connect A2? I've seen some feedback getting put as well about it. So, yeah, yeah. so uh, that's mm -hmm. more, like users were saying the same that they are unable to, to use it for the moment, you know, that they yeah. have some issues with using it. It's not a lot of feedback. I think I've seen three, three pieces of feedback on this or something like this, so just a few. Yeah, reading through the reviews of the market on the marketplace app, it's like it's rated as four star, but every other review yeah. seems to be like, yeah, this doesn't work at all, or it yeah. works great. So it's really um, all over the place. Yeah. Okay, great. Some people are not able to connect at all, and uh, for those people, I've been recommending them to uh, to just contact the support for connecting to. Yeah. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Do you think, I'm asking everybody, do you think it would be a good idea to have a, like an article on this? Explaining people, do you think it's the case to, to have an article to explain this? Or because we still have like alpha and few people, it's 
But I think Not because it's moment. alpha and also because there's some security uh, mm -hmm. concerns. I don't know. It would be a great, great idea. To uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, with the article was only to let people know, you know, that for the moment mm -hmm. we are aware of this. We know that you can't use it properly or there can be some issues and that's it, you know, just this. Right. Or just to tell them to go to contact Connect ATUC. Yeah, right. it's just a direct. Right. That was the idea, not an article, but I'm not sure whether to wait a bit more. I mean, is it possible to put something in the marketplace to assist that, or is that not? Okay, I don't know. Well, there's a link to their support from the app in the marketplace, so. Right, but like make it a little bit more prominent that says, hey, if you need help with this, if it's not working for you, go here instead. Or remember, this is in alpha, we love right, something. Right, feedback. I would almost think, well, I mean, for the Mozilla Hispano form, it might be helpful. That's where they're getting the most traffic about it. Right. Mm -hmm. well, I think an article might not be. Yeah, I think maybe something in a, in a form might make more sense. Because I don't want to make it, sound, make it sound too official that we're endorsing it. Right. That's the real. Yeah, we're not at all. Right. Or like also because if WhatsApp turns around and just like slams down on them, it will be even more trouble. I mean, it hurts our negotiation position with WhatsApp. Yeah. Not that we have one. Okay. <laughs> uh... A potential negotiation position. Oh. I missed my AI for flashing 1.2 on my Geeks phone. Um, Pramina has reported it's quite unstable from engineering still. Yes, so I heard that from someone else yeah. too. Is anyone else running 1.2 on a Geeks phone right now? No? No. Okay. I think there are some things, quite a few things not working yet, so I'm getting out of it. TBD. Uh, let's see. Need a contact for accessibility. Accessibility member is in Seattle. Did you yeah. add that one? Yes. Thank you, Patrick. Um, I can talk to him. What is it for? I don't know. Probably check in with Satya and see okay. what he's looking for. I think Satya talks to, to EJ already. Okay, um, good. Yeah. Um, and then something about updating the conference call room. Um, okay. We don't have a QA update today. Um, I forgot to ping Naoki with the um, with the Etherpad. I'll do that after this meeting and um, get him to put some some updates in there for us. Because he always wants to give us some info. So updates on Firefox OS this week. We launched Hungary this week with Deutsche Telekom. Yay! <laughs> another week, another country. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we we turned on, we made like the forum, a Hungarian forum on Sumo uh, this week also that um, that we're watching. This is now our our third non-English forum on Sumo. So we have Slovenian. Brazilian, Portuguese, and Hungarian. So that's very cool. Um, any word on Hungary from anyone? How things are going? Any feedback? Is it coming in yet? Hungarian? Okay. Oh, in, in Hungarian. I should look at that. I was looking for specifically. Um, I don't think I've seen any, but so I mean, right yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we should, which reminds me, we should get Rachel on that um, input where you send us an email um, each week with the input just so she uh, has it okay. as she ramps up. I will do that. Thank you. Can you make that an action? Yes. I need Rachel's email address. Um, Rachel, you Okay, Hermina, your updates, you want to give your updates about practice? Yes, yes. The first one is that we've started scoping for 1.2. So Michael is working, is already working on this, and I'll come with news whenever I have them. And the second one is that we are seeing an issue with uh, in Colombia, Venezuela, and Spain with customers, with some customers trying to update from 1.0 to 1.1. 1 
it seems that they have issues loading the call log afterwards. So it gets stuck, and some of them, for some of them, get stuck at zero percent. Then at thirty, the idea is that they can't open it anymore. So uh, there's a bug in Bugsy Lounges. I put the bug here in the interface, so you can check it out. Uh, and we are we are investigating, and engineers are working on it. Um, and another thing I didn't put here, but I just came to my mind. I uh, maybe with Patrick we can we can talk about this. I received some feedback from uh, from a developer who tried to uh, you, you know create uh, apps, start creating apps for Firefox OS, and he was unable to do it. So he sent me like an email with with feedback, and maybe we want to figure out where to send this feedback sure. and, you know, and see what can be done about it. And that's that's it for me. Okay, I mean, engineering is working hard on finishing up um, 1.2. They're also working on 1.3. And then um, there is a 1.1 HD branch also. So there's a lot of stuff going on. It's very exciting. And then there's a lot of work um, uh, starting on uh, Flatfish, the, the tablet stuff. So we have a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, feedback for Firefox OS. Uh, do you want to give a summary? So, oh, in addition to the call, in addition to the call log issue, uh, we have the uh, issue with people not updating. So that people, um, if you look at their user agents, they are updated, but somehow they keep getting update notifications. So Peter's looking into that. And then the other one is we are seeing more people say something about the fact that the phone restarts more. I don't know if you noticed that, Hermina. I have noticed some responsiveness to yes. It's, it's like it's, it's people are saying it's not slow. They're not saying slow anymore, but they're saying that it constantly restarts, right? Yeah. And so I'm not sure if we've kind of traded one performance problem for another, but we, we are seeing more of that restarts issue. They don't have a solution. Um, it's not easily reproducible by QA. So they're not sure what to do about it. So we've kind of got an open issue there to look at. Um, the last thing that I wanted to call out, there are a couple things I wanted to call out as well, that I didn't add to the report. Uh, one was uh, bat issues. I'm hearing a little bit that the ZTE battery is the ZTE bat performance isn't as good in 101 as it is in 101. So I don't know if we can Investigator, I don't know what to do with that one. It's only like one or two. Again, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not one report on the forum that I replied yeah. to with the battery saving uh, article to see if the guy had tried those things. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's um, it's hard. Like, uh, product thinks it's possible that these people are using their phones more, or maybe we're not shutting it off off as much. So it's hard to say. Um, but that one's a big one, uh, or that one's something to, to consider. Um, and the other one is whether or not your alarms are firing. Uh, so some people are saying they lost their al alarms after they update and they're not firing. Um, so again, that's very too low to make you know, mm -hmm. a lot of fuss about, but it's something to keep in mind if you guys see it in feedback or if you see it on, because I don't read Mozilla Hispano, if you see it on Mozilla Hispano, Ralph, um, you know, don't point me to them and I'll, I'll make sure I add it to the list. So those are the things I'm, I'm kind of flagging for right now. This is the clock alarm, or this is notifications? No, the clock alarm. I think it's the clock alarm. So my, my feeling is it's the clock alarm, but if people aren't incredibly specific about it, okay. so it's not, I'm not 100% sure. I've seen some, I think it's the clock alarm. I, I think so, I think it's the clock alarm too, that's my gut feeling right now, but again, it's the numbers are too small to make a really positive determination. Okay. Uh, yeah, did that guy come back, that forum poster come back and say, is there anything about his battery? Uh, not when I checked yesterday. I'll check again today. Check it now. Tell us. <laughs> uh, okay, great updates. Thanks, Ching. Um, anything else on updates for feedback for Firefox <coughs> OS in the field? Anything you have questions about? Oh, I have a question. This is not totally related to feedback, but Ralph, so did you actually 
So how are things selling in Brazil? So because we're starting to see more Brazilian feedback come in, and I wasn't sure if we just open new stores if we knew knew something about that. Um, Sorry. No, that so um, so I remember you mentioned that in the in the first week it uh, it we didn't see many feedback, and right. uh, the uh, it's really hard to find phones. It's it's harder to find phones in Brazil than I imagined. Uh, okay. Also, uh, in a lot of the stores, they didn't have they either didn't have any signage, or they didn't even have the phone on on display. Um, and also, the uh, none of the Alcatels were selling up until this last weekend. Uh, okay. Apparently, they pulled back on the Alcatels uh, to do a refresh uh, and reflash the phones. Um, so they. Uh, they're just just now starting to get back in stores, and they expect it to be back uh, for this weekend. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now. So that's good. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's jump to um, Roland because I know he's got a meeting after this, uh, and then we'll come back to your in-store update. Okay, Ralph. Oh, cool. Sorry. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Roland. <laughs> I've been gone. Um, Monday for a holiday and Tuesday I was on PTO and um, so the major news is that um, we finished most of the 26 articles and I think I have two more to set ready for L10N this week. Um, 25 is smooth, 27 there doesn't appear to be anything to update uh, and finally supposedly according to a tweet from Google Android 4.4 is coming out today, or starting to roll out today, to be more precise, for Nexus 7 and Nexus 10, if I got that correct. So if you have one of those devices, it would be great if you could update and see how Firefox or Android works on them. Okay. And that's it. Awesome. Thank you, and welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, any other stuff on Firefox for Android? Some people are seeing questions. Anyone has about Firefox for Android? All right. Yes. No. Okay. All right, uh, Ralph. You want to give us a little update on your trip, on your travels? Sure. So um, I'll try not not to take too long because uh, it was a uh, it was a week full of full of different events, so uh, but I'll I'll take a couple of minutes to to share. So it so it was uh, three different events that I attended uh, in Brazil. The first one was a meeting with some of the people from Vivo Support and some of the people that are involved with you know, different parts of support. Um, on the second day, there was a uh, it was somewhat like a sales training event. Um, one of the uh, new new hires from Brazil, uh, Marcia, uh, she has a team of, of, uh, of about 10 people that we uh, contracted from another agency uh, and they will be going to different stores in Brazil and making sure that all the signages are there, that the, uh, the sales people are, uh, are well prepared for uh, to sell the Firefox OS devices uh, and and all that, and then report back to Marcia. So that second event uh, it lasted a few hours, but it was really nice to see how the uh, how the sales operation are, are being done in Brazil. What's the the status right now? Uh, which is what I what I just shared with uh, with Jane a few minutes ago is that it's. Uh, it's not as uh, prepared, or not as uh, advertising as uh, as I was hoping or as I was expecting. But um, and then on the the third day or the third event was in Brazil on a Saturday. It was uh, it happened in two cities at the same time. Um, I was in Rio de Janeiro at Baja Shopping, which uh, up until some time ago it was the largest uh, mall in Latin America. I don't know if it still is, but it's, it's pretty gigantic. I think they have four McDonald's in there. Um, but um, that event, uh, so it happened in, some, in Rio de Janeiro and then also in uh, Shopping Morumbi in Sao Paulo. Um, and on those events, they had uh, like 
photo booths, to have, in Sao Paulo they have the fox, um, the Firefox dressed up as a costume to show up. <laughs> We're also get handing out bags and uh, so it was. Uh, the The only thing is that we had to stay in the store. The mall wouldn't allow us to uh, to go outside of the store, but uh, but there was a lot of people in there, um, and it was a, it was a pretty interesting event. Uh, it was it was pretty nice. Uh, in Rio de Janeiro, we also uh, contract. We also uh, had a deal with uh, really famous bloggers in Brazil. So it's a couple of bloggers that have the uh, uh, one blog that right now is the web page or the website with the most page in Brazil. Uh, so they have a huge following uh, on Twitter, they have blog, uh, they have uh, podcasts, um, and they, they have a huge following. So they were there and uh, they were here. They hadn't heard about Firefox OS before. Um, but when we were talking to them about it, they uh, they really liked the idea and they really liked the mission of Mozilla. Uh, so they were tweeting about uh, about Firefox OS. Uh, they were also thinking of doing a, a new podcast segment about mobile. Um, so the, I think the event overall is really successful, not just in the mall, but also uh, bringing in these two uh, tech bloggers that. Uh, that fell in love with the Mozilla mission. Awesome. Um, the pictures I saw from Sao Paulo, that the store looked very impressive. I mean, it looked quite fancy and, and huge. Was it similar to the one in Rio? Did you see the pictures from Sao Paulo? Um, yeah, I saw the pictures from Sao Paulo. Uh, I also took some videos of my own uh, when I was at that same store a few days earlier. Um, and I'll be sharing that uh, once I get to upload everything. But the store in Rio is, uh, yeah, it was about that same size. Um, and yeah, it was big, big visuals. Um, and uh, on those big stores, they did have uh, some uh, some stands and, and things with information about Firefox OS. Uh, they also had the uh, the Firefox OS ad. The, um, about with everything.me and similar to the one that shows in Spain, uh, they have they had that on like six huge screens like showing from time to time, wow. it's like taller than me. So that that was pretty cool on those uh, on those really big stores. It's great. I've never been to a store with the um, with the Firefox OS ad. Yeah. Um, I always want to hear about it, you know, because it just yeah. seems so amazing that we. <laughs> That we actually have devices in retail stores. Yeah. <laughs> it's just shocking to me how far we've come in such a short amount of time. So I'm really glad yeah. you were able to go. And you said you went to eight stores, eight different stores in Brazil while you were there. Um, so I went to let's see, I think four Vivo stores and uh, five resellers uh, or official Vivo resellers, uh, which they had a lot. Yeah, cool. wow. Great. Well, I look forward to the, all the details on that. Um, and it looks, I mean, to answer your question, Jane, as far as feedback. We have one piece of Hungarian feedback. Oh, one piece. All right. I mean, from after, <laughs> we have a couple from before release, but like from after release, we have one piece of Hungarian feedback. Okay. So, we have people Yay. Um, yeah, I mean, these things take a little while, yeah. right, to get phones in store, obviously, and get them into the hands of users. So, um, so thank you for keeping an eye on it. But we don't have, um, I guess we have, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, ten or so posts on the Portuguese forum, right, since we launched. So not a lot of questions there. But it also makes me wonder if questions are going somewhere else. But, um, but I think really that your experience, Ralph, of not being able to find devices in stores just yet um, is probably why we're seeing yeah. a dearth of feedback at this point. Yeah. So it's a calm before the storm, I believe. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Grown. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> uh, anything else in this section? There are a number of things. Um, oh, this is just about changing this meeting time, which I hate changing meeting times. Um, but Air Mozilla isn't able to accommodate us anymore. Um, so Satdev is asking us to have a vote 9 a.m. or 9.30. That is just so hard for me. I would be late. It would be annoying. I would be late for it every time. So um, I will push back on this. If it's possible, I think, to upload the videos ourselves to Air Mozilla. So we don't have, and that also takes the tax off of Air Mozilla, um, that they don't have to, like, be on with us and try to manage the meeting um, while it's being recorded. So that's my preference, unless someone else has a preference. Oh, there's Richard now. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, where's that coming from? Um, who's... <laughs> You're asking who's requesting this, Richard? Yeah, who, who's saying that Air Mozilla can't handle it? Because oh, that's not I, coming I, from me. Oh. <laughs> um, David put in the meeting notes today that there was a, that you guys had a conflict with this time of the day. Is that true? That's not true? No. No, oh. this is fine. Yeah. Perfect. No, let, let's keep things as they are. Um, Perfect. Uh, um, that's my preference, too. So. Okay, cool. Thanks, as always, for helping us out. I really appreciate it. Anytime. All right. <laughs> You're Thank like you. Oz showing up. <laughs> wizard. Richard the wizard. That was perfect. OK, anything else before we close up? All right, thanks, everyone. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Keep rocking the ball. Yeah. Ariento, a la prochaine. This next, this month. A la prochaine. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.